Hi dear friends, I am Professor Dr. Murlidhar, orthopedic surgeon, practicing uh, uh, a place by name Tumkur, it's in Karnataka state. So I am practicing for past 20 plus years. So I have made a lot of uh, YouTube videos, more than 180 YouTube videos I have done. Please do subscribe to my channel and uh, I have done various, almost all orthopedic topics, videos on those things and also on general health also. So please, I've already got more than 5,000 subscribers. I sincerely request you to subscribe my channel and also promote it to your family and friends, okay? So health is wealth, that's my motto. That's the reason I'm creating this video so that all of us will be healthy and thereby healthy also, right? Okay, today's topic is dear friends. See, as we know, medicine doesn't come only in bottles or tablets or vaccines, right? I will show you. What is the, if I ask you one question, uh, if I tell you medicines, what will what will come to your mind? What will come to your brain? Immediately you will think medicine means either it will be in the form of bottles, right? So you think you need some iron iron syrups or some calcium syrup. So the moment I say medicine, you will think of these syrup bottles, right? Or else what else you think? You will think of this kind of strips of tablets, right? You will think, okay, medicine is like tablets, right? Or this is what it comes to your brain, right? So let me tell you something. Medicine doesn't come only in the form of tablets or syrups or bottles or whatever it is. It doesn't come only in the kind of bottles, right? So medicine, there are so many other things which play a very, very equal important role as the medicine, right? Let me tell you what are those things and to be tell to tell you, most of them are free. You need to spend money for this kind of medicine, but you should use them very regularly and they are very, very good health promoters. Let me tell you what are those things which are which doesn't come in these forms, right? So, quitting junk food itself is a medicine. See, I don't know, junk food itself is a misnomer. It is not at all food or it's just junk. You're not supposed to eat it, right? If you quit junk food, then there itself your health is improving. That's also quitting junk food itself is a medicine for you people, right? Excess is definitely a medicine. All of you know that, right? People who are suffering from diabetes, who are suffering from hypertension, who are suffering from obesity, if they do regularly excess, if they do walking regularly, that itself acts as a medicine. All of you know, if you do uh, exercise very regularly, for, if your diabetes is under control, you definitely your diabetic medicines can be reduced. So your exercise itself plays as a medicine. Please do exercise very, very regularly. Then fasting is also medicine. See, there are so many studies, Japanese scientists, they have done. By doing regular fasting, that's what we used to do in our uh, Sanatana Bharata culture, right? So we do what is called as 15 days Ekadashi Upuasa. 15 days fortnightly we used to do those supas, right? That, that is, my, that is the, what we call as uh, uh, fasting. If you do those fasting, there are a number of studies wherein they have found out that the body uh, will mature itself and whatever the degenerated dead cells are, they will get removed, what is called as autophagy. So that will happen definitely, our health will increase, our health value will increase by doing regular fasting. That's also one of the medicines, right? Then nature itself is medicine. See, the other day, August 15th, I went to uh, Lalbagh, such a beautiful place. I think uh, I, I one should visit Lalbagh in Bangalore, right? So that is what is flower and fruits uh, exhibition will be there. So that's a fantastic thing to watch those flowers, colorful flowers. And it's like, you know, it's like Yavan and Hat. So if you are with the nature, if you see beautiful flower, if you smile with that flower, if you are in the nature, right, if you if you go walk for on a beach set or on an uh, near a river or tank whatever it is and if you get exposed to beautiful nature that itself will give you a lot of healing that itself acts as a medicine right so have a in japanese there is a concept called as a nature bath right they once in a while they go to uh, forest bath or nature bath they go to forest and they have the trees they celebrate themselves with the nature that's nature once again plays as a medicine for people right so laughter is definitely a medicine See, when you laugh, when you're happy, there are a lot of happy hormones that are released in the body. There are four basic hormones, we call as dose. D for your dopamine, O for oxytocin, and uh, S for serotonin, E for endorphins. So these are the basically happy hormones, healthy hormones. Once you're in the laughing mode, once you spend time with the, uh, uh, whether you watch a good uh, uh, movie, uh, which is a lot of fun movies, or comedy movies, or comedy series like your Tom and Jerry, whatever it is. If you have spent time with your good friends, if you are laughing, if you are enjoying your life, 
that itself is a medicine one said right so vegetables and fruits are definitely medicine so there is one saying if you don't uh, if you over eat or if you don't eat properly that itself can cause problem so definitely all of you know each and every vegetable has very good its own nutrient value each and every fruit has its own nutrient value suppose if you want vitamin c you have to take the food which has is called a citrus fruits like your uh, lemon orange all those mosambi all things are rich in vitamin c so some fruits like papaya then carrot these are rich in very very much rich in vitamin a which is very good for your eyesight so definitely if you consume very good vegetables and the quality fruits that itself one same acts as a medicine so sleep is a medicine of course all of you know if you can have a peaceful 6 to 8 hours undisturbed beautiful sleep that itself is a medicine if you have a proper peaceful sleep definitely will help you in controlling your bp your sugar level and so many mental disorders oh, so many things should be taken care of so sleep nobody spends need to spend for having good sleep right so most of the things which are whatever i am discussing is all free you don't have to go to medical store and take spend money to purchase all this so keep a good straight forward eight minimum 6 to 8 hours sleep that's very very important and itself sleep itself acts as a medicine for you but and definitely exposure to sunlight right so if you get regularly get exposed to sunlight that itself is once again a medicine for you do you know vitamin d is requires your sun exposure and if you are getting uh, exposed to sun that itself once again is like health tonic for you people then being in gratitude and spreading love if you are in gratitude if you thank the people around you if you thank the nature if you thank god that kind of feeling itself will act as a medicine for 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 so many ailments of the body friends are definitely medicines right if you can spend good time with your friends you are study those and you can spend time laughter and a very good cozy time that itself wants an access in medicine right so meditation is definitely medicine all of you know that as long as you meditate your life will be very smooth very calm and so many mental disorders even physical disorders meditation has proved behind doubt that it's worth it can replace medicine also for some times right so positive attitude is once again medicine if you have positive attitude if you are positive with whatever happens in the surrounding see obviously we don't have any control on what happens outside us but we can definitely have the control how we react to the given situation right we should always re- respond we shouldn't react right if you are balanced if you have a positive attitude the way you look things will be very different that itself is once again medicine for you people right so unconditional love towards all living beings is itself is a medicine if you have pets in your house right if you love animals if you love cats if you love dogs if you love parrots you can give unconditional love to all your surrounding people your neighbors your friends your family people that itself once again acts as medicine for your body so accept-